Saturday night, we're doing two hours to midnight. It's our two-hour metal show. Me, Corey Roddick, Pat Butler. Doing all incarceration bands this weekend. A couple of live uh, local bands. But uh, it's going to be incarceration bands on Saturday night. That is happening, of course, out in Mansfield all this weekend. Uh, tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday. So, yeah, we'll hit your A-listers. We'll hit your Slipknots and Lamb of Gods and Megadeths. But we'll do a deep dive on some of those incarceration bands. So, two hours to midnight. Our Saturday night metal show is back. Uh, Saturday night, as the name implies. 10 o'clock. And anytime, maybe you're in a band, maybe you want to hear a band, you can submit whatever t- uh, to htm at wmms.com on that. Guardians are back on the field tomorrow night. Um, they've got about a week or so of away games. They'll play the Rangers in Texas tomorrow night. 8.05 is the start here on MMS. Uh, they dropped their 2024 schedule this morning as well. The home opener against the Chicago White Sox. It's going to happen on Monday, April the 8th. That'll be uh, uh, They'll begin the season with a 10-game road trip. Uh, they'll play Oakland. They'll go to Seattle. They'll play the Twins, and then they'll come home. Uh, the opener Monday, April 8th, against the Chicago White Sox. Seven summer weekends at Progressive Field is part of the schedule as well. I don't know, for people who want to hear preseason stuff, I don't know about all that, but uh, they've announced the 2024 regular season schedule there. The ESPYs were last night. I saw a bunch of people bagging on LeBron. I wasn't quite sure why. Not how people um, just do that. Well, his out there, people were memeing his outfit, and I didn't quite understand what was. I mean, you're hard pressed finding out who's dressed the goofiest at the ESPYs. So I wasn't quite sure why they were singling him out. They had uh, the Buffalo Bills training staff come out. They got an award for keeping DeMar Hamlin alive. Remember DeMar Hamlin? Mm-hmm. That was the guy who had a heart attack on the field, the Buffalo Bills. And they gave the Pat Tillman Award. Wait, they're making fun of LeBron's outfit when Dwayne Wade was wearing what he was wearing? This is what I'm saying. Throw a dart and you're going to hit some athlete in a goofy costume or outfit. I don't know. When these guys are just walking down the hallway before a regular game, they look like Huggy Bear. So I don't know who they're singling out or why. You know, so that's kind of the fun of it is to, like, gone are the days where you just wear, like, a regular tuxedo. That's what I think. That's no that's no fun anymore. So you, you wear something a little different, a little wacky. It's like, an award show. Like, and it's, it's a sports award show, yeah. too. So it's extra silly. And, like, Pat Mahomes is wearing... A double-breasted cream <laughs> color suit yeah. with no shirt underneath. Yep, love it. The Jonah Hill. Out. What, Cody? I wanted to check out Patrick Mahomes' outfit. Should I didn't think him? LeBron's things that great. He looks kind of like a priest. I think so too. <laughs> so they gave uh, the Buffalo Bills training staff a very emotional moment. Demar Hamlin's crying, and these dudes who helped save his life. Please welcome this year's recipient of the Pat Tillman Award for Service, the training staff of the Buffalo Bills. Okay, my name is Nate Bresky. I'm the head athletic trainer for the Buffalo Bills. By the grace of God and divine intervention, we had the best outcome we could have prayed for or imagined. Damar, first and foremost, thank you for staying alive, brother. (laughs) Thank you. The response to DeMar's injury was able to bring our nation together for a moment and show the world the power of prayer. Let's remember that feeling of unity and use it to make sure we can save the next life too. Why can't people, why are people so resistant to taking credit for their own skills and training? They give an award to the Buffalo Bills training staff they get a six-minute presentation, big standing O, all great. They're like, hey, we urge everybody to learn CPR. It's great. You get up there and you go, boy, because of God and divine intervention and prayer, DeMar Hamlin is still here. You guys saved his life. What, they're giving you an award. It's not in, they're not presenting an award in church. 
Why are people so resistant to taking credit for their own skills? Well, because people who believe that way believe that God gave them those skills. They didn't they wouldn't have those talents on their own. They made it through medical school. They all everything that they've ever achieved has been through God. Without him, they would be nothing. So if God didn't give them the skills and the training and the, you know, perseverance to make it through medical school, they wouldn't have been there to save Damar. And so they're worried that if they don't shout out to God, he's going to get mad and remove their no, medical training. Not or at all. It's they just, went through med. I don't. Again, I don't think. The, I don't know how many of these guys are doctors. I mean, a couple of them. I don't know. I, I don't know what the breakout is. If it's a combination of, I'm sure, team doctors and paramedics. I don't know what it is. They think of but, it like this. Let me give you this analogy. Um, me personally, when I record an album at Hilarities, right, and I thank you, I thank you to Alan Cox. You didn't make me funny. You didn't make me good at stand-up, but right. you helped me acquire an audience. And it's not like you're going to take away my job if I don't thank you. But yeah, but you I don't have like, to do that. But what I'm saying is is that I appreciate what you've done for me. Yes, but you can see me. But that's how people there are, feel about God. You can see me. But you can see they, me and touch me if you sure. so inclined. And there are concrete things that you're attributing to me. None of that is made up. Right. These medical also, professionals who go, boy, it's because of prayer and divine intervention but to that them, DeMar Hamlin is alive rather than, yeah, we saved this brother's life. To them, saved it's not made life. up. To them, it's not uh, <laughs> fake or, or this big, uh, you know. I'm not invisible. Right. If you were to go, hey, Alan, put me on the radio. I mean, great. Don't have to do that. But I'm, you can see me. I understand. But when you say, what are they afraid he's going to take it away? It'd be the same thing. If I didn't thank you, I don't think you're going to fire me. But that's how they feel. God is as real to Christians as you are to me. Well, at what point do people start taking credit for their own accomplishments? Never. Never? When, when you are that devout of a that's Christian. That's why I became an atheist. Well, nothing is ever done by just you. Mm. Just you. You're not the one. But they don't even give themselves partial credit. Because that's they how they believe. They, well, no, no, no. Do you know how much I <laughs> if you, if you, if you, uh, listen, if you think it's all because of God, that's one thing. But you're the one who went through medical school. Again, trying to argue these things, I realize, is absurd because it's all nonsense. But I'm just saying, like, I don't know where this resistance to, to are they worried it's not going to make them sound humble? Not at is all. it the audience? If they I don't truly know. believe that these gifts were given to them from God. They made it through medical but school. But nothing was given. LeBron will tell you, Bill. Nothing is given. Everything is earned. Sure. Maybe they earned their uh, divine powers. No, you're just powers. a kid from Akron. Because <laughs> what they're really saying is, um, God saw fit to make me what I am. The rest of you losers, <laughs> I don't know what God was thinking with you. I pray. What, yeah, if, DeMar ha Mahomes. what if DeMar Hamlin had died <laughs> on the field? These guys would have been like, will. well, we prayed a lot, but God killed DeMar. All of my medical school training couldn't save him because I didn't pray hard enough. I guess that, that's always the implication is, well. Why does it bother you so much? Because I grew up hardcore Catholic. And but it's silly. You get fed this nonsense. And it's it, it keeps you in this constant state of supplication. So what? Of prostrating yourself. When we were the ones down here doing stuff, yeah, God. going to medical school, learning how to do things. But okay, in this situation, I'm mad right at God here, God for inventing paperwork. I prayed so hard that I got this company sued in order for me to get a job. <laughs> <laughs> See? I, I was like, God, please give me a job in radio. And he said, Okay, and it sued, and then someone else they cost this company just millions one. of dollars just to make a space for me. Well, Alan, That's your, prayer. your point of view has always been, as long as you're not making life hard for other people, I don't care what you do. By this guy deflecting and saying, hey, it wasn't by us, it was by God, he's not hurting anybody. I didn't say he was. So then why does it upset you so much? It doesn't upset, upset me. I think people should be, should not feel guilty about taking credit for their success. They don't feel guilty taking credit. They this truly guy tripled believe, down on God. He tripled truly believes down. that that's where it came from. It's not that he feels guilty or like, I don't deserve it. He feels like it's this is where it came from. It's absolutely out of guilt. It's all out of guilt. It doesn't have to be, Of though. course. It can be I, out of... It can be it's out all... Of, the, the, the fundamental part of that belief is I don't deserve it. I couldn't possibly have done this by myself. I don't deserve it. I'm lucky to be breathing. But they can. it can be also out of appreciation. 
Yep. Thank you, God, so much for giving me the opportunity to help this man. Well, that's fine. So it doesn't have to be out of guilt and shame. It can be out of appreciation and love and thankfulness. For your yeah, that's gifts great. and stuff that you're good. naturally blessed with. Do you believe in blessings? No. Right? No. Why'd you even ask that? I know. <laughs> hmm. Certain people have certain skills, certain talents that other people weren't born with. Nobody's born with the ability to be a doctor. You so, go to medical people, school. It's saying, a very difficult thing to do. But Nobody's saying, born being skilled in anything. But, Ooh, but that'd be Le- a good movie. LeBron James. Take that, boss baby. <laughs> baby doctor. Doctor baby. <laughs> some people are naturally gifted. Doctor infant. Yeah. LeBron James is taller and longer than most people, and he can dribble a ball. He, he's faster. He can. He's but that's the best. a right. That's a physical attribute. But if you're if you're conf- if attributes. you're confining it to sports, then yes, being preternaturally gifted physically but is happen. going to help you a lot. But there are also a lot of tall people that can't play basketball to save their lives. There are some people that are just naturally born intelligent. Like they don't they didn't necessarily study. They didn't necessarily. No just- one is born naturally intelligent. You there might have you who- might have good genetics and things like that. But I mean, it's. No, because that's not. I'm, they're well, not. Yeah, first sure, of all, you're not born going, with it as an infant. You're but, going way. Uh, we're going way off the rails. I'm just saying I don't know why it's so <laughs> difficult for people to go. Yeah, we have a great crew here. A because gr- they don't believe it was just them. That's well, why. It's not that it's difficult. It's that they don't believe the same thing you believe. I don't know why it's either or. I don't know why it can't be something. Now, again, in fairness, that is a clip of. I didn't watch the whole presentation. I don't have six minutes. <laughs> Hey, I got to give you some money here. It's $1,000 courtesy of the Lord and uh, WMMS. Good luck. This is your chance to bet with the buzzard bookie and win $1,000 now. Enter this nationwide keyword at WMMS.com. Bills. That's bills. Enter it now at WMMS.com. It's fine. It's all good. It's just, it's just fine. I think you're projecting the guilt onto this. Oh, I'm, I absolutely am because I grew up Catholic. Right. And every prayer is, please, God, don't smite us, please. But it's not it's not endemic to Catholicism. I mean. It's, it's, it's every form of, it just gets goofier and goofier, whatever iteration of, of Christianity there is. Well, I mean, I it's, grew up. Please don't consider what we truly no. deserve. Please. Because we're dirt and we no, wouldn't that's be. that's Catholics. Because There's I grew up Pentecostal. Well. And ours is. Thank you, Lord, for everything you've made. You love us so much. You've blessed us with the ability to speak in tongues. Nobody else on the planet can do that except ah. the Pentecostals. And that's what I'm saying. Baptists. Have you ever been to a Baptist service? I have. They love Jesus. Yeah. They don't feel bad about anything. Yeah. You're absolutely so I think it's, it's just Catholics that have that overwhelming guilt where there's other parts of Christianity that are like, Jesus is my best friend. He came to my cookout. And Yeah, those are black yeah. churches, though. Pentecostals aren't a black church, or my Baptist. church wasn't a black church. Uh, um, Pentecostal is majority black people. Pentecostal? Oh, we were all a lot right. of white people in Pentecostal. I'm talking about Baptist churches that she's talking about. But it doesn't have happy, to be that. Happy, happy. No, it doesn't have to be, but by and large. I mean, there aren't a lot of, you know, we had maybe one or two black families in our parish. There I wasn't was, a lot of, you know, whatever. It, it doesn't matter. I just, watching that clip, I was like, man, it's, 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 uh, you're not going to be struck down by the Lord if but you go, man, I'm about. good at what I do. That's not what they're worried about. Well, then what are they worried about? They're not worried about anything. They are giving thanks. Like, I gave thanks to you. Thank you for sharing your audience with me. They're giving thanks to God. But that's Thank a concrete giving- thing that I've shared with you. But to them, it's is, their yes, concrete. They are, their they are, God is just as concrete to them as you are God to me. Not. But he is to that's them. That's their belief. You don't believe in me. Nobody I does. Don't I am a th- you. I am a thing that exists that you can see. Right, Alan, you're you're refusing to accept the fact that that's how they feel about God. No, no I'm not. You I are. know ex- I know exactly how they feel. He just thinks it's silly. That's the point. It doesn't matter if you it's think how it's they silly. feel. They also know some things too. That's how they feel. They know they went to medical school. They know that God got them there. Argue with a hardcore Christian about it, and they will go. They oh, the will. f your feelings people who are all of a sudden in all their feels about everything they don't like. That's weird. You seem to be in your are feels we about trying this. Trying to have my dad on the show. <laughs> your dad. <laughs> hey, Brian. Hey, yeah, I agree with you, Alan. And like, but the thing that irritates me is that the guy, he's, they're not even saying thank you, God, for giving me these skills. He literally says, through the power of prayer, is what saved him. Like that—that that, that was the only thing. 
you know, like they, and that's what kind of irritates me. But sure, well, I get listen, that. I mean, it's pretty good prayers. Then. People who See, sometimes prayers work. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's weird. I mean, listen, it's, it's trying to attach logic to it is a, a, a fool's errand. I get it. But I just was watching that. And I was like, man, it's OK if you go, man, we got a great crew. Man, I am good at what I do. That's OK. Yeah, everybody everybody things. kisses their fingers and looks up and does, gives Jesus the peace sign. That's how important Jesus is to them. Jesus cares about give them touchdowns. The peace sign. Huh? Jesus cares about touchdowns. That's, and that's, peace. That's, I get peace. the peace sign part. Mm-hmm. Touchdown Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I've uh, got to take a break. If you want to text 35. 35-